Hello and welcome to Let's Talk HR with Dr. Janine, the talk show that spotlights HR professionals and talks about all things HR. Listen to this. Does your organization have a strategy to allow employees to create their own individual success plans? Better yet, do those plans tie directly into employee incentives? If you don't have such a plan or you want to improve the one you currently have, in today's episode, you will learn exactly how. Our guest today is Catherine Duncan, Human Resources and Operations Manager with Reynolds Bone and Griesbeck, PLC Public Certified Accountants and Advisors. And she's going to share how she elevates employees using individual success plans, smart goals, and employee incentives. She calls this the game plan. Welcome, Catherine, to the show. Thank you, Dr. Lester. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. I am so glad that you're here to today. And so let's get right into it. Okay. So HR professionals tell me that they sometimes come into HR by happenstance, right? Mm -hmm. They fall into it. Now, did you stumble into HR or were you intentional about the HR profession? It was a complete stumble, almost falling face first. <laughs> um, but actually, so I spent, I graduated with a business degree from the University of Memphis, concentration mm -hmm. in marketing. Mm -hmm. And um, I spent the first eight to nine years of my career working as a paralegal, um, doing estate planning, I actually worked for a, an attorney that was also a CPA. Oh, so okay. Great. Um, before I even knew it, I was going to be in the accounting world. All right. <laughs> Um, and so um, from there, I took an opportunity at a small community bank here in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And um, there, the name was Triumph Bank. And I yes. started off as, yeah. a, um, as a teller. And um, I just, I, I knew from a long time ago that with work ethic and drive and, you know, not being afraid to ask for what you want. Yes. Um, then you you get an offer you get the opportunities and so um, someone at Triumph saw in me uh -huh. um, a skill set that I didn't really even know that I had and and gave me an opportunity to start the HR department at All Triumph right. Bank. Oh my goodness! Um, great. Yes, so I was in that role for almost ten years, uh -huh. and um, the bank recently sold to Simmons Bank, yes. and um, with that move, I uh, made a transition to the public accounting world. And <laughs> now, now I'm at RBG and I've been there for almost a year now. Absolutely. That is yeah. so wonderful. Starting in banking, mm -hmm. started around the things that are particular or competencies used in banking are some of the same competencies used in mm -hmm. HR and you stumbled into it. Right. And then you had to start it, right? right start right. the HR. Right. HR department that is taxing. <laughs> so like you and I, I mean we have we never had like the professional schooling. The yes. HR schooling was yeah. more of a um, hard knocks. We figure it out on our own. Yeah. We yeah. fail and then we yeah. we um, we we stand up from our failures and we move forward and you know we continue to to, to truck on. Yes. So um, that's kind of where I, I was a kind of a self-taught HR professional. Okay, self-taught HR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that is unique because a lot of, um, of in the HR world, we were self-taught mm -hmm. until it started becoming part of the curriculum of colleges, until right. it became the curriculum of intentional HR um, uh, majors. So it is great that you stumbled in. I'm glad you did. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Here's another fun fact about you. You told me about it. <laughs> that your first yeah. job was managing a tourist attraction here in Memphis mm -hmm. at the amazing age of 18. Tell me about yeah. that. So this is this is crazy, but um, and I don't I don't even know how they stayed in business really because they had a bunch <laughs> of young people running the place. But apparently they saw something in me I didn't see in myself. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a water park that used to be here, yes. Adventure River. Adventure River. Adventure yeah, River. So that. I started as a lifeguard there. Um, when I was 16 years old, uh -huh. I think. 
and I've been working my whole life really, yes. um, ever since I could. And um, then, you know, found an opportunity to take on a head lifeguard position. And the next thing I knew, I think it was three summers in, mm -hmm. I was the aquatics director for okay. the water park right. and managed, you know, almost a hundred people. Yeah. Um, and I think it was, it was there that I really learned that, um, you know, I, I was, I was teaching CPR and first aid. So yes. I was helping people back then, right. you know, without knowing, Hey, I'm going to end up in HR. Right. 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 Um, but I think that it was then when I, I realized how important a strong work ethic was and, um, you know, the goal setting yes. was a, were two key elements in, um, career progression, yes. you know? And so I, those are some of the things, those two elements are things that I use today. Yeah. Um, in at RBG and in, in our in our incentive plans, so right? Absolutely, it translates all the way back from uh, yeah. back in the day. So. so you were doing professional development back in the back day. In the day, you were training, that's, right? That's right. So all of those things they just become full mm -hmm. circle for mm -hmm. us in the HR industry. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into um, where you're working now. Your okay. organization, Reynolds Bone and Greaseback. That's right. That's it. Yep. Certified Public Accountants. Tell us a little bit about yes. the organization. So RBG, uh, we go by RBG as well. They're a public accounting firm. We have, um, we usually teeter between 45 and 55 employees, and that's including interns because we're very heavy on interns. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we are, uh, we have clients internationally. Okay. And a lot of people don't know that, but we've been in the Memphis area. The firm was founded in 1916. Wow. And and they had some of the very first CPAs in, in oh. the state. Oh, wow. So, yes. Um, um, and I've been there for about a year now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're glad that you're in the industry and mm -hmm. also in, uh, in accounting. So that is that is a, such a valuable, valuable, um, uh, valuable, I guess, so to speak, mm, career. Yeah, <laughs> a absolutely. Valuable career, yes. So let's talk about this game plan okay. you talked about, you told me about. You told me that um, RBG values its employees and they are intentional about making sure they succeed. Mm -hmm. And so you do this through the game plan. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so RBG, and this was really something that I inherited. It was, I cannot take credit for implementing the okay. EOS system mm -hmm. at RBG. So EOS is an operating system that they're on. It's the entrepreneurial operating system. And there's a million yeah. books out there. Um, it's sweet spot is like anywhere between 15 and you know, 200, 250 employees. Okay. And it's, it's really geared towards companies that, um, are open-minded and mm -hmm. are growth oriented. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. the, one of the tools that is used in EOS is, um, our, our game plan, the RBG game plan is okay. based off this tool. And so, um, really it's simply what it is, is that, um, at the beginning of every year, okay. our partner group, which is really our, our C-suite, our executive team, mm -hmm. they get together and they set our, our goals for the year. Yes. And then there's also a three-year plan and, and those goals are very specific. Mm -hmm. And, um, they, each of the partners is responsible for making sure that people are held accountable to reach those goals. Okay. So everybody has their their one one focus. So um, it's almost like we make sure that one person is held accountable. Okay. Right. So this. So and what's so cool about the tool? All right. Sorry, I just keep talking. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's so cool? Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what's so cool about this tool is that, and and I find that it's so different than a lot of other organizations is mm -hmm. that every single employee okay. knows their role because it, it's laid out there. And, mm -hmm. you know, from, from the very entry level mm -hmm. intern mm -hmm. all the way up to the partner, um, ah. everyone knows what their place is, what okay. their role is, and what they're doing to help achieve those goals. Wow, that is wonderful. There's no guessing. That's right. right. That's right. Every employee knows exactly what they do, what they're responsible for, and and 
responsible for their success mm -hmm. through these individual plans. So success is different for different people, right? But this plan allows space for every employee to create their own game plan. So how does that work? How do employees create their own game plan? Okay. So this year, this is something that um, um, our young professionals group um, brought to our attention. Okay. And so we're, we're um, we love the feedback and mm -hmm. we love to, to, to make changes and make things happen when, when we see that, that there's good to come out of it, right? So yes. um, the young professionals group came up with the idea of why can't we all have our own game plan? <laughs> and so- I so, tell you, <laughs> the answer is right there mm -hmm. in the building, in right. the organization, if you allow yourself to listen to it, right? Uh, it's so they wanted to come up with their game plan, right? Uh, well, and it's like you keep them happy because you know you're you're able to cater to what what they're wanting and what they're seeing, and it, it just it all this whole thing it just kind of it's a, a, a to total collaboration of okay. lots of different parts coming together. Yeah. But so for someone to, for an individual to create their game plan, it's it's we don't want it to be rocket science. Okay, you know. Um, we, you know, let's, for example, a, a new, um, a, a staff level employee that, okay. says, that might have a desire to get their CPA so they can get to the next level. Yes. And so that might be one of their goals. So mm -hmm. they create their goals with the help of a dedicated coach ah. and their goals are supported by what we call rocks. <laughs> and they're rocks. They're, they're supported by the rock. Okay. <laughs> The rocks are quarterly goals. Okay. So the rocks are quarterly goals that help you achieve your annual goals. Ah, so it's a step-by-step yeah. -step process. Yes, yes. So you don't give give them, here's what you need to do, that's but right. they have milestones, I guess, so to that's speak. Ex that's ex a great way to... <laughs> milestones to reach mm -hmm. in order to reach that goal. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So they have these milestones. Mm -hmm and they reach those mm -hmm. and they have a coach that helped them get to that goal. Yes. Absolutely. So this plan is unique because it helps employees to set the SMART goals, right? Exactly. And it ties to the individual plan and to the annual incentives. Is that right? That's correct. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just so we're clear, tell me what is a SMART goal? <laughs> okay. SMART is an acronym for um, specific, mm -hmm. measurable, attainable or achievable, yeah. um, realistic and timely. All right. And um, so I can give you an example of how my coach helped me set my goals to be smart. Okay, let's do um, it. So we, uh, one of being new to the firm, one of the first thing any HR professional wants to do is say, okay, let's look at this handbook. Let's figure <laughs> out, okay, what's right, what's wrong. What's I, can wrong? Go in I can make some changes it's pretty quick. It's almost the Bible. It's <laughs> almost the Bible in the right. workplace. They're always day. outdated. So <laughs> I, we can start to shine by looking yeah. at that. So um, I, I, I said, I'm going to update the handbook. And so my goal was by June 30th, 2023, mm -hmm. I was going to update my handbook. And my coach looked at me and he goes, well, how? I went, I'm going to update it, you know, <laughs> like for compliance. Um, I'm going to make sure that, um, you know, the, the, any of the, the policies that we have aren't dated, if yeah. we're, you know, all of those things that HR professionals do. And he said, well, how? And I said, well, I'm just going to like, he's like, how are you going to tackle it? So that's where the smart pieces yes. came in because yes. it was, okay, I've got 12 sections. <laughs> and I've got four quarters to get this thing complete. Yes. Right. So I said, okay, yes. well, I'm just going to divide my my handbook into twelve. You know, so I've got. I'm going to complete three handbook section review yes. recommendations a quarter, and then if I do that, that's reasonable. It's yes. not just like this that's huge right. stack of paper, eighty you know page document, and and so that's how. I mean, you you your coach works with you to help you set the SMART goal. Right, yeah, okay. And yeah. so in the SMART goal, mm -hmm. what the example you gave is very specific. It's mm -hmm. the handbook. It's the handbook. I'm going to update this handbook. Mm -hmm. And then it was realistic, right? right? Because you broke it down into pieces, into chunks. Mm -hmm. And then it was achievable because you broke it into chunks. You didn't try to tackle it all at one time. And then it was measurable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't make it that quarter, 
Mm, guess what? <laughs> you got to make some changements and just an adjustments. Right. So what's unique about this that it ties into the annual incentives. Mm -hmm. How do the SMART goals tie into the annual incentives? And better yet, tell us what the annual incentives or some of those are. Okay, so this is all this is all a work in progress. Okay. Um, however, so what we what we do annually is that the firm meets, you know, for an annual consensus, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we have, uh, and this is another EOS tool. We have implemented what are called core values. Yes. And the core values and what a well, our core values are passion, respect, oh, yeah. ownership, community, elevation, stewardship, and teamwork. I think I said all of them. Um, and all of those core values are, are, are what the firm wants to represent to each other okay. as a team um, and also our clients. And so that piece is also tied into um, the annual incentive. Sentence. So when we okay. when we all sit down once a year, um, we look at how e we look at each individual person, mm -hmm. and we we don't just take feedback from one individual. Okay. We take feedback across the board, all right? right? About that one about individual. About that one individual. Yeah. Kind so, of three hundred and sixty. You got it. Degree. Yeah. You got okay. It. Yeah. And and so um, and we use the core values almost like a core value bar, and to to measure is this is this person in the right seat? So we call yeah. it RPRS, right okay. person, right seat. And <laughs> right person, <laughs> right seat. So, Can't get any yeah, right. right person, right seat. Because you could have the right person and yeah. they could be in the wrong seat. Absolutely. They could be passionate about what they do. They mm -hmm. just don't know what they're doing, right, right. in that role. Right. And so that's one of the things I love about this firm is that, you know, before they cut somebody off because it's just not working, mm -hmm. they're going to try to find the best position for your skill set. Right. And so mm -hmm. anyway, all of these things mm -hmm. tie together. It, mm -hmm. It's it's a, a tool for um, you know employees to reach their annual goals. Mm -hmm. It's a a, um, a a tool for um, managers and coaches to to measure their progression and yeah. their performance yeah. on. And all of it is really kind of tied in, not necessarily to a subjective goal, but it's always a, it's going to be a percentage of the employee's annual salary is what their compensation ends up being. Okay, so it's tied to your salary, yeah. right? Yep, yep. <laughs> so you have to um, demonstrate those. Um, core values. That's correct. And you use this core core value bar. Mm -hmm. I wish I could show what that looks like, but to describe it, it's that you have all of your core values on mm -hmm. a sheet of paper, mm -hmm. and 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 you're and you're making a judgment call on if that employee meets that particular mm -hmm. bar. And so, what if you find that? on one particular value, the employee needs a little bit more improvement. What do you do to help them? Well, I mean, I, the, first of all, we would have the coach sit down with them mm -hmm. um, and just say, hey, look, I mean, it's it's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. And it's to say, you know, after we met for our consensus, we, we kind of came to the conclusion that we're, um, we're lacking in certain areas. Mm -hmm. um, I always, when I'm mm -hmm. doing my constructive criticism, I go the, the start mm -hmm. off with the positive. Yes. And say, hey, you're you're doing great in these areas. And then then you say, but we could use a little work here. Yes. So let's take these, take the next six months to 12 months to really work on improving this area yes. and give them outside resources and all the support that they need to get there. It might be a situation where they don't think they can get get to, yeah. to make a change or do yes. better. Um, and that's when you talk to them about other other positions or mm -hmm. a possibility of moving outside of the company. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think that is so important, you know, mm -hmm. having the right person in the right seat doesn't mean they're bad people, right? That's right. They're That's just right. not operating in their in their gift set, right? In their skill set. But you as a company, which is so important, you try to help that person get to that level, right? Absolutely. You help them get that. And it's so important uh, to do that. I uh, commend you uh, for that. So this is new, right? Mm -hmm. And do you know if there is... Um, success rate yet or 
we're still working on. We're that. still working to see if there's a success rate. I have, <laughs> I, I'm, I haven't had to send out too much communication um, <laughs> regarding, hey, get get your game plan to me. I want to see your game plan. Um, I can tell you <laughs> from my team standpoint, mm -hmm. it's really gotten um, my group of people to think outside the box, mm -hmm. and whether they see it or not, they're making progress. Yeah, and I'm I'm so proud of them. And you know, there's certain positions where, you know, you you might think that I don't, there's nothing for me to improve. I'm mm -hmm. just going to come in. I'm going to do my job. Mm -hmm. There's always room. And that's always what, room. There's always room to elevate and, and empower your people to get to another level. Yeah. And um, for me personally, the accountability is um, like, it helps me get things accomplished. Oh, um, I bet it does. Yes. Because, because I you know. have something there <laughs> as a roadmap, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. In which to go. So it keeps you on point, mm -hmm. right? Because how easy is it to say, I'll do that next week? <laughs> or I've got this, I've got this going on, you know, and it really does. I mean, you're, you're being held accountable and it's, you know, it's not, if you don't do this, then these are going to be, it's, it's like, why, why didn't we get this rock completed? Are yeah. we on, are we on yeah. schedule? And if not, then let's work through the reasons why and let's get back on track. Yeah. I love the rock click piece. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> true, rocks. isn't it? Yeah. Something those that rocks. blocks you from getting to the next. Right. I love <laughs> that. That is absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. So do the employees like it? Have you heard any feedback about that? Yeah, they're never going to like everything. <laughs> you know, there's not ever going to be um, a situation where you, you make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. um, I think, um, there's been a little like, oh, why do we have to do this? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I think once we get through a year and mm -hmm. you, there's so many people mm -hmm. that um, have made strides mm -hmm. and made accomplishments and mm -hmm. they see their incentive tied mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to have some more fans. I bet you will. I bet yeah. you have a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes when you were a child, when your parents restrict or they made you do something that you really didn't want to do. But as you blossom and as you grow, you find out if they hadn't done that, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be where I am today. You're right? Exactly right. So uh, this is a great program. Accountability is important. So it's the basics. It's the basics. It's yep. the basics. So in the game plan, mm -hmm. who benefits from it all? I know the employees benefit, but who else benefits? I think everybody, yeah. I think management, the company as a whole, our clients, you know, um, I, I think it's all around, it's it's beneficial to anything that the firm touches. And then obviously from a retention standpoint, yeah. our people know that they should know that mm -hmm. we care and um, we, we want them to succeed and we mm -hmm. want them to be professionals in their career. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think in doing this, it, it gives them a sense of achievement. Yeah, so it does. all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so important now that people achieve something good mm -hmm. uh, in the workplace, and and you all are intentional about making sure that happens. So, last question for you. Okay. Last, so, why is it so important to have these programs such as this one in the workplace today? Well, I guess it kind of ties back to the very beginning and it's you know that so that people understand their role mm -hmm. they know their place they know that um them coming to work every day and taking steps to meet meet their goals mm -hmm. and is is helping the company to be successful yes. and is, it is contributing to the overall growth yes. of the organization yeah. um it it helps with accountability everybody yeah. knows their role yeah. um and you know career progression yeah it's you're you're working with someone pretty much as a coach that has been in your shoes before yeah and um they're helping you holding your hand to get you to the next level oh. So there you have it. You have the game plan you can implement today in your organizations. Allow employees to create their own success maps and receive the power of coaching with the goal of benefiting the organization is the ultimate description of empowerment in the workplace. It's a win-win for all parties. HR professionals, take a minute, create a space and develop your very own game plan that best suits your organization and elevates your employees to the highest heights possible. 
Be sure to watch Let's Talk HR with Dr. Janine, the first of every month on the YouTube channel of the same name. Please note, you can watch Let's Talk HR with Dr. Janine and prior episodes at any time. Go to the YouTube channel and type in the talk show title. But if you want to be notified when new episodes post, be sure to subscribe, no fee, to the channel and click on the notification bell. This is HR TV. I'm Dr. Deneen, and I want to talk HR with you. HR forever. See you next time.